Welcome to eGroupware. To provide a more efficient and optimized usage of eGroupware, we developed several new features for version 14.2. On the one hand, there is a new file sharing option that helps you to share data with partners or clients even easier. On the other hand, version 14.2 offers the home screen your virtual pinboard that makes eGroupware more intuitive and easy to use. The third important improvement is tablet support that provides a better usage of eGroupware on mobile devices. We now explain the improvements in File Manager. eSharing allows starting with version 14.2 to share data with people that don't even use eGroupware. It works by sending just a link, either as replacement for attachments or even to give direct write access to the data. One way to share files is to click on Mail Files in File Manager context menu. You choose to either send a link to the relevant file or permit read-only or writable sharing. A new email will be opened and you can define how long your link will be valid and if the receiver will be only able to read or also edit the file. For enhanced safety, you can add an additional password. Another option to share files and folders via eGroupware is to open a new mail and then include a file sharing link by attaching files from your local computer or eGroupware file manager. After that you choose how you want to share the files at the end of your mail. With eSharing you always have the choice to share data located on your own computer just as well as in eGroupware File Manager. Our tip, just send small amounts of data to a few recipients as attachment. If you want to share larger files, whole folders or have many recipients, it's more comfortable to use the links. This way you easily share large amounts of data with external users. The second improvement in 14.2 is our new home screen. You can create your own dashboard and include data from all applications you often use. To have certain infolog entries always available, for example, I just drag and drop the relevant favorite to home screen. Contacts I often need I drag to home too. I can also create windows for my home screen via its context menu. It's quite simple to adjust every window size and position on my home screen. To adjust what's displayed of a favorite window, click on left corner icon in its header. If you want to edit a certain entry, just double click to open it. To edit or delete a window located on home, just right click on its upper border. As an admin, you can make every of your home windows a default for all users or a certain group. You can also set a so-called main screen message which gets displayed for everyone on top of home. You can, for example, import news or helpful links there. Now we've seen two important innovations of 14.2, file sharing and home. The third big improvement is our new tablet support. We now show you the most important features. You open your menu via a button on top left corner in case you want to close it again to get more space Click to the arrow at the same position. All applications are now located in the left toolbar. We quickly explain the handling of eGroupware with your tablet using Infolog as an example. To open an entry full screen, just click on it once. Open its contacts menu with all options via a longer tab on it. You can also use swipe gestures on your tablet. To mark several entries, just swipe over them from left to right. Then you can for example close all chosen entries via context menu. Turn your tablet and its view will automatically adapt. Your menu bar will then be on top, it's always located at the shorter side of the tablet. Now you know the three most important improvements of version 14.2 – file sharing, home and tablet support.